It's day 278, famine in Mecca. After the conquest of Khaybar, a lot of booty had come into the hands of the Muslims. No one was going through any serious difficulty. Everyone's needs were satisfied. The Muslims in Medina were living a comfortable life now. But the Prophet of Allah had learned that the people in Mecca were suffering from hunger. He felt sorry for them. He thought of those children who were hungry, the sick and the animals. The heart of the Prophet was full of compassion. Even if they were pagans, even they had fought a lot of battles against him, he was going to help them. He called his companions and explained the situation to them. The companions agreed to help the Meccans with food and money. The Prophet asked them to load some camels with barley, gold and dates. Then he gave them to a companion by the name of Amar. In order to take them to Mecca, Amar set out on a journey as soon as he could. The leadership of Mecca was in the hands of Abu Sufyan, Safwan, and Suhail. When Amar reached Mecca, he submitted all of the stuff he had brought to them. Safwan and Suhail, out of pride, did not want to accept what Amar had brought. But Abu Sufyan knew how much the people needed those provisions. He went against the wishes of Safwan and Suhail. Whatever Amer had brought, he distributed to the poor, hungry, and the needy. For those people who were suffering, this help was like being given the whole world. The people became very happy. Once more, they remembered Muhammad al-Amin who thought of them from faraway places. The hungry were full, the children feasted, the faces of the poor had smiles, and Abu Sufyan, who saw how happy they were, submitted his thanks to Amr. Let God bless Muhammad, he said, because he is always mindful of the rights of his relatives, and he reaches out to the needy. It was a courtesy worth worthy only of a prophet, the prophet to think of helping the enemy in times of need.